Hey everybody, hope everyone's doing safe and well. Welcome back to another video. Um, it's been quite a while since I did my last one. Um, I think my last one was uh, my Asda food shop when I was getting ingredients for smoothies and things. Um, it's been a couple of months now since I last did a vlog. Um, so I just thought today would be the perfect day to start a new one. I thought I'd do a couple of days with me vlog. Um, today's Saturday, Saturday the 30th of April and it's the start of my five off. So my five in landing Monday to Friday this week. So it worked out quite nice. So my five off are gonna be Saturday to Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, Saturday to Wednesday. So today's Saturday, it's my first one off. Um, I had a bit of a lazy morning. I had a lie in, I watched a couple of videos with my breakfast. Um, and then I just hand washed my mole mole uh, in the garden. I've just given her a good clean, um, used some car shampoo, the hose, and just give her a good scrub down and a good clean, really, because she really needed it. She was covered in dust and burp, like really, really bad. I'd, I'd, so, yeah, that was one thing I definitely needed to do today was give my car a clean, which I've done. So that feels good that that's done. Um, and now I am just off to go see my sister in Floki. Um, we normally do walks and stuff together, but today they're just having a chill day. My sister's just doing a bit of a at home day today, you know, doing cleaning, washing. She's got a food delivery coming. Floki's just happy chilling. So I'm just going to go around and play with him and say hi to them both and just pop down for an hour really and uh, have a bit of a socialise. But I've got some more treats for him. Um, um, so it's perfect because I'll be able to drop them off today. Uh, I've been getting his treats from an app called Cherries on my phone. I've been getting quite a few bits from him actually. It's spelt cherry and then a Z on the end. Um, and you just download the app for free on your phone. And then it's just like everyday household essentials. right? Um, and then they do pet bits as well. So I've got these. These are new actually. I've not tried these for him before. But it's from a brand called Munch and Crunch. Which I've got the beef jerky from them before. And Floki loved them. So I thought I'll try these. They're called Meaty Bones Premium Treats made with 90% real meat. Um, so they're just different flavoured meat bones really um, and then I got him some more of these because oh my god he loves these and to be fair they're one of their best sellers for the pets uh, pet treats because sometimes they're completely sold out or they're out of stock and I was waiting for ages for them to come back into stock and I ordered him free bags um, but I thought no do you know what while they've still got them in I'm going to order him a couple more and it's these liver sizzlers from a brand called Webox um, and they're really good he really really likes them um, liver sizzlers rich in liver made in the UK oven baked made with 54% chicken and liver um, it's got an added prebiotic for um, tummy health which is really good puppy friendly if you've got puppies but yeah he really really likes them so I've got in two more bags of them while they're still in stock um, and then I just got him Old Faithful treats these ones. He's always liked these um, from a pup up till now. He's, he's four years old. So he's um, absolutely loved these all the time. Pedigree Marquis, which I think are just a staple treat for dogs, aren't they? But yeah, he loves them. Um, so I'm going to drop them off today, have a little socialise with him. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd do a little vlog of these uh, five off and just show you what I get up to. Um <clears throat> But I also wanted to do a little bit of an update, actually, um, as to why I haven't done a, a, a video for a little while. And the main reason is that I've been quite poorly and I've been um, investigating my health. I think I touched on it on my last video in the Asda shopping haul, but um, I had COVID quite badly in December. Um, and since then, I just hadn't been right. Um, and I was suffering quite a few different physical symptoms, which I've, I've done investigations on. I've had an MRI scan. Um, I've had blood work, blood tests done. Um, I've had a sight test. Um, I also, uh, I tried um, propanolol tablets. I might not have said them right, but they're like, I think are they beta blockers? Like they slow your heart down um, because I was getting quite a lot of heart palpitations and like a strong build up of like an anxiety panic feeling and I'd like get a noticeable heartbeat, heart palpitations and things like that. Um, so I was on them for a good few weeks and then I've weaned myself off them because it's uh, it seems to have gone back to just being okay now, like touch, touch wood. Um, 
all the physical stuff that was going on for the like it, it was going on for a good few weeks and it resulted in me needing to have a bit of time off work which wasn't ideal um and i wasn't happy about because i do i do really like my job and i really care about it so the fact that it made me need to have time off i just that's why i was investigating so much because i wanted to get to the bottom of it um because it just seemed to come out of nowhere but i've been suffering quite a lot of hair loss as well um about two and a bit months after having covid i started getting considerable hair loss like loads more than what i was used to like i'd be in the shower and it would block the plug in my sink uh, this the sink plug hole um about three times and i'd have to unblock it three times during one shower brush it oh it would just come i'd wake up and it'd be all over my pillow and it really got me down and got me upset because my hair considerably has it's the thickness i think i must have lost about maybe between 40 to 50 percent of my hair thickness it is growing back i've got to say it's now died down back to a normal level of hair loss but for a good few weeks i was losing a considerable amount of hair it was panicking me it was scaring me i was thinking oh my god i'm gonna go bald i'm gonna it just really really scared me and panicked me and it got me down and i just didn't like it um so I have been using a shampoo and conditioner uh, specifically for progressed hair thinning um, to help, you know, stop the hair loss and help your hair regrow back. And I've also been taking um, a vitamin specifically for hair, like to help your hair. Um, and I have been getting regrowth coming back through. This is why it's all, I mean, my hair is normally like this anyway, but it's even more so at the minute because I am getting a lot of hair regrowth come through. Like I've got loads of little flyaways and things like that um, because I am getting quite a lot of hair growth coming back through now. So um, I'm very relieved because the amount of hair loss, it's gone back to a normal level and I am getting the hair regrowing back through that I have lost. Um, but I spoke to the hairdressers about it and they said that they've had loads of clients that have had COVID that a little while after noticed that they had considerable hair loss. Um, it's just strange, isn't it? I, I read something that called it medical shedding or something like that. I, I mean, I'm I'm not a doctor. I don't, I don't know. It's just something that I read up and something that I spoke to a couple of hairdressers about. And they did say that it has been a common symptom for people after having COVID um, that they have been getting hair loss but luckily it's a temporary hair loss and now like I say I, I'm not losing anyway near as much hair and it is regrowing back through so I'm still using the special uh, shampoo at the moment the shampoo and conditioner and I'm still taking that vitamin uh, to help my hair regrow through um, and I'll probably do that for a few more weeks just to try and get that thickness back because when my hair's in a bubble and that I can it's not as thick as what it used to be. So I just want to get it back to how it was. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update that, you know, I was having quite a lot of physical symptoms. I was getting very intense dizziness that would just come out of nowhere. I'd get really, really bad tiredness too. Like it would just be such a de debilitating tiredness. It would just suddenly overwhelm me. I'd get very dizzy. I'd get heart palpitations. I'd get, I'd feel really, really sick, um, just feel like weak and faint and yeah, it just seemed to come out of nowhere and it just, it was just constant um, for about a week and a half and then it just kept coming back in waves. Um, but like I say, I've done loads of tests, everything's come back clear and luckily, touch wood, it seems to have gone away now um, and I seem to be getting a bit back to normal and a bit back to my normal self, which is really, really good. Um, so yeah ramble over guys i just wanted to fill you in as to why i've been away for a while but um yeah i'm gonna head off to floki's now Hello guys, um, it's the next day now. Um, the last clip you saw, I was just running myself a nice bubble bath. Um, sorry I didn't end the 
video for yesterday um but i just ended up chilling with claire and floki at theirs um we just had some food together watched a film together and that and we were just all snuggled up comfy and then i come home had a nice bubble bath and yeah it was just a very very lazy day and um, the only productive thing i did yesterday was wash my car um, but sometimes you just need them days, don't you, where you just, you're literally chilling with your people. You're just having a nice, calm, soothing day, which yesterday was. Um, so today's the second day of my five off. It's Sunday. Um, I think it's Sunday the 1st of May now, actually. I can't believe we're in May already. I do feel like this year's gone really quick. Um, but today, Paul's picking me up um, and we're going to Cheshire Oaks. Um, he's got a little bit of a list of things he wants to buy um, because in June, we're actually going on holiday to Tenerife. Um, so yeah, we're going to Cheshire Oaks today. I'm just getting a few little toiletry bits and seeing if I can find like a nice new summery dress that I'll be able to use for holiday um so yeah we're just basically gonna go cheshire oaks do a little bit of holiday shopping and um then we're gonna sorry my face went really close to the camera then and then we're gonna get something to eat and then we're gonna go back to his and then i don't know if anyone's been watching ozark um but they've released the second part of the final season on netflix um so once we get back from cheshire oaks and we've had some food and that we're just going to chill and maybe watch a couple of episodes of the final season of ozark um because that's a show that me and paul have been watching together and we really really like it um i've actually got makeup on today guys which i i, I don't really do makeup very often i'm not a very good girly girl um i just literally i've put foundation on mascara on a bit of lipstick and all that all that jazz um, straighten my hair but it was misbehaving so I had to tie it up um, like I say it just doesn't come natural to me at all to be a girly girl um, but you know it's 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 better than nothing I will do um, so yeah uh, I'll uh, take you along with us when we go Cheshire Oaks um, but I just want to show you something really quick before I go I just wanted to show you this bag that I got from River Island. Um, I got it a few weeks ago, um, but it's gorgeous, like the detailing. I love the gold chain, like the River Island writing on the gold square. Um, I need to transfer stuff from the other handbag into this handbag, so it's empty at the moment. But it's got like the two sections and then the main section. It's got a little zip section inside. Um, but yeah, it's just beautiful. I love it. Um, so I'm using that today because uh, it'll go with the colour of my top. So yeah, I thought I'd do a little bit of matching, but I just I just think it's worth sharing. Um, if you've got a River Island, go check out their handbags because they're definitely uh, really, really good. I really like River Island handbags. Um, my mum got me one for Christmas and then I got a voucher. So I ended up treating myself to this one as well. But I just I just love it. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to transfer my stuff into this handbag, guys. And then I'm going to get ready and uh, head out. Hey guys, um, I just realised I didn't close out uh, the vlog for yesterday either. Um, I'm a bit bad for closing it off at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, um, as you saw, I went Cheshire Oaks. Um, me and Paul had a look around the shops and we went to a place called Ed's Diner for food. Um, it was all right. Like it's it's like an American style diner. Like uh, we had um, a burger and chips each, and then we had like a dessert milkshake at the end. The milkshake was really really nice. Ten out of ten for the milkshake. The burger and chips were okay. Like the seasoned fries were nice. Um, but I I do think you pay a little bit too much for what you get. Like I think the prices are a bit dear. Um, but yeah, it was it was really nice. And then we just went back to his and we watched um. Uh, a couple of episodes of the final season of Ozark um, and then I didn't get in till late so I literally just went straight to sleep and uh, yeah so that's why I didn't end up closing the vlog but I just thought I'll quickly show you what I got yesterday I didn't get a lot I just got some toiletry bits that I needed and a top from Next um, so I'll show you the top that I got from Next uh, which I plan on taking away on holiday with us because we are I said this uh, yesterday but we're gonna go to Tenerife in June um so I got this top from next 
lovely green colour and the material's really nice as well, really nice and soft. Um, I'm not sure what, what material you'd call it really, but yeah, it's just a nice, uh, like smart uh, vest top kind of top, but it's really nice. I'm not very good with fashion and what the names of materials and styles of clothes are really, but yeah, that's the top. And I just thought it looked really nice with like, maybe if uh, going out in the evening, like with some black level up, uh, level up pants or um some like smart black skinny jeans or something or a skirt or even if i just wore it with um like some denim uh or something like that um but yeah i just thought it'd be a nice bit of like an evening wear top uh maybe um <clears throat> And then for the toiletries, I got uh, two more dry shampoos. I got the uh, Baptiste uh, brand. I always use this brand for dry shampoo. And I got Radiance and Blush. Um, so yeah, got them too. And then I got another deodorant. And this one, it looks like it's like watermelon scent. So this one I've not had before. So I've just got a new deodorant. Uh, got some more obligatory face wipes, biodegradable ones from Simple. Just, you know, to, because I do have a face wash that I use um, with water and stuff, but sometimes if like you do have makeup on or you just want a quick, you know, want to do a quick wipe or quick refresh, then face wipes are pretty good for that. And then I got two more uh, lip balms. Uh, I got the aloe vera and peach um because I, I like the stick ones better than because i've got a few of like these but i prefer these for like when you're out and about on the go and then um i think i've said this in one of my older vlogs but i'm really really into my skincare at the moment it doesn't look like it today because i've still got bits of mascara left and it's making my eyes look even darker than they normally are and just look really tired today um but i've been using serums uh like i've got a different face cream for like daytime and nighttime like i've got a daytime moisturizer a nighttime moisturizer and i've been using two different types of serums and i've also got like a face mist for extra hydration um in like a lavender scent so every so often i'll just spritz my face and it just soaks in a bit of extra moisture um but i've got another olay serum but this is different um the one i've got open at the moment is this one the instant soothing serum um from olay the set it's of the seven in one uh product range um so this is the seven in one again but this one is moisturizer and serum intense nourishment uh vitamins b and uh, b3 and e um so it's it's just a bit different this one but it's still of like the seven in one total effects range. Um, so I've got that one. And then I've got this, which this will be the first time I'm using a Nip and Fab product, but I've heard good things about the brand. Um, so this is the Nip and Fab uh, Illuminate um, Vitamin C Serum Fix. So yeah, just to help give my skin a bit of an extra brightening glow, really. Um, but I've been really enjoying using serums. Like I say, I'll put the serum on first and then I'll put a layer of moisturizer as well. Um, and it just makes my skin feel so soft and hydrated. And, um, you know, it does help to give it just that bit of a boost sometimes. Like sometimes I have had compliments about how my face is looking on days where I've really stepped up the skin skincare game. So, yeah, that's um, all the toiletries that I got. So just the top in those toiletries, bit boring, but we mainly went for um, Paul to look at things, really, because he had a bit of a list of things that he needed, whereas I've pretty much got most of the stuff that I'd need to take away on holiday. Um, I wanted to try and find a pretty dress, really, um, which I found a linen style dress in Next, which I tried on, but I didn't end up getting it. But I have a feeling I might go back to Next and get it. Um, so watch this space. I might still be getting that. But it's like a linen, black linen dress with white buttons that go all the way down the middle. And it's like breezy and flowy and just looks really, really comfortable, like a good, pretty summery day dress. Um, so, yeah, that is all I got, guys. But today um, I've strip my bed i'm just letting it all air out and everything i'm going to remake my bed in a bit done a bit of hoovering had a shower um and my friend code is literally on the way to pick me up now so she'll be here any minute so i'm gonna head off but we're gonna go for a walk she um is dog sitting currently so she has uh, a dog with her at the moment i think it's a black labrador she's looking after at the moment called neo um so we're just gonna take him out on a walk um 
So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go for a walk and then maybe get a little something to eat afterwards. But I'll uh, I'll tag you along anyway. But um, yeah, let's catch up with you in a bit. Hello again guys, I in true Becca fashion for this video, I did not close it out. Um, the last clip you saw was um, a little meal clip. Uh, me and Cody on Monday went to do a dog walk together. Um, then we went to a pub for some tea, well lunch slash tea, it was like a late lunch uh, sort of tea time. Neither of us had had lunch so it was like a lunch slash tea. Um, and then we ended up going for another little walk actually, uh, just in the local woods, um, just because we both felt a bit bloated after our tea. So we just ended up going uh, on another walk. And then Tuesday, which was day four of my five off, um, I just, me and Paul just ended up chilling out for a bit, watching a bit more of Ozark. Um, nothing exciting really went down on Tuesday. I just did some cleaning bits in the house in the morning, cleaned a bit of the bathroom, dusted the stair banisters. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I can't remember. Just just some bits and bobs at home. And then um, I ended up around tea time-ish. Uh, we were just, yeah, me and Paul watched a bit more of um, the final season of Ozark, which we are up to the very, very final episode of Ozark. Very final episode. Um, so, yeah, we've literally only got the last episode to go and then we've completely finished Ozark. But it's been a good show. Like, me and Paul have really, really enjoyed it. It's had quite mixed reviews, hasn't it? Like, it's a mixed bag when I speak to people. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, but me and Paul, personally, we, we really like it. And then today's Wednesday, um, Wednesday the 4th of May, I think it is. Yeah, Wednesday the 4th of May. So today is day five, so it's my last day off. And then tomorrow, Thursday, I am back in work from a five in. So I'll be in work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So Thursday to Monday. Um, so today, it's just been a day of... Um, me and my mum have had a little day together. We watched a, a programme together with breakfast this morning. Um, and then we've just been out and about. We both went to Sainsbury's and Asda to do our food shops, went to the garden centre. Um, I'll insert some footage now that I up from the garden center we just went to have a mooch um mum was trying to find some pots uh some outdoor plant pots and just to see if there are any uh outdoor plants that she wanted to add to the garden um and i just like looking at the homey bits in there they have some gorgeous home bits it, it's quite expensive at garden centers but i do like walking around them i do find it quite calming walking around them i just think it's very nice and like all the plants and greenery and everything's very nice um I did have a look at the house plants, but they're just a bit too expensive. And to be fair, I don't really have any more room for... You can see there's one there. There's two more on my windowsill, which you can't see at the moment. There's one... I'm not moving my hand very well to th there. And then I've got more on my bookshelf and um, one in front of my telly. I've got one on my bedside table. I think I've got about six, seven houseplants in my bedroom alone. That, that's it. You know, between me and my mum, we are houseplant lovers. Um, that was embarrassing. Like, I did not move my hand very well to find the plant. Um, but, yeah, so um, I haven't really got anything else to show you guys. Uh, we just literally, like I say, did food shopping, went garden centre, went B&M's, had a quick look in there um, and then just did a couple of errands and then we're back home. Um, I, I'm wearing a new top. Uh, I bought this today from the 2E clothes range in Sainsbury's and it's so soft. Like it's, I, I can't show you the material very well, but it's really, really soft and it just says love on it um, in like little 
little beads um but it's very nice and comfy so i got this while we were at sainsbury's treated myself 15 pounds i think it was which you know it's not the cheapest item of clothing but you, you can get them that are a lot more expensive as well can't you but i just thought no do you know what i'm gonna do the splurge 15 pounds and i'm gonna treat myself to a nice comfy chill top so like i say it's a nice pink color with love on it and it's just very nice and cozy and i'll be able to wear it at home chilling like i'm doing now or i can wear it when i go to paul's and chill or if i go to a friend's house and chill or i can just wear it out and about doing errands or food shopping or something it's just you know one of them everyday tops isn't it um but yeah guys i just wanted to um close out the vlog here i think um i think it's gone on pretty long enough now and like i say tomorrow i'm back in work so i do apologize that i haven't closed any of them off at the end of the day and it's just sort of followed on to the next day um but i just wanted to quickly show you when i um first said about me losing hair um after I had COVID and I was losing quite a lot of hair, but now it's it's gone back to a normal level of just, you know, a normal amount of hair that you lose, you know, when you brush your hair and in the shower and stuff, rather than it being about three times as much as what it got to. Um, and as I said, I really, really panicked and I thought, oh my God, why am I losing so much hair? Am I gonna go bald? And it was just constantly on my mind and I was stressing about it. Um, but thank God it seemed to be a temporary thing and it seems to have stopped now and it's it's gonna grow, it's, you know, trying to grow back through. Um, but I've, I've got to say like the feel and quality of my hair is different since I've had COVID and started losing hair as well. But um, like I say, I'm working on it. I'm taking vitamins uh, i've got a vitamin that i'm taking specifically to help my hair regrow um it's the you know the my vitamins website um it's their hair skin and nail uh gummies the blueberry flavor gummies you take two of them a day but um i just heard good things about them helping like with your hair and things like that and then this is the brand you know i was saying i was using a special shampoo and conditioner this is a scalp treatment as well that came with it it was a set of three so you've got the shampoo the conditioner and then this scalp and hair treatment I, i've not used this as much as what i should have been doing because i think you're meant to do it every day but i haven't been i've been using the shampoo and conditioner obviously every time i wash my hair um but yeah ne neoxin the brand's called um and it's really good i got the ne neoxin four number four because it, it's in numbers and this one's i got the color the color safe one um that you can use on colored hair because i ha i do dye my hair from time to time so i thought just to be on the safe side i'll get the ones um that you use on colored hair but yeah it just um it says look colored hair progress thinning um and yeah the the shampoo and conditioner they smell really minty actually uh the first time i used it i was like oh it's really minty um but yeah it's it's a good brand and it's actually my mum's hairdresser that recommended it um because i spoke to the hairdresser that i go to and then my mum spoke to hers and mum's hairdresser recommended the neoxin uh brand for if you you know your hair's thinning out and you're getting a bit more hair loss and things and you know touch wood it seems to have been helping so between using the shampoo and conditioner and the scalp treatment and taking the vitamins it's you know and also i think if if the hair loss was to do with covid it was when i've googled about it it does say it is only a temporary uh, a temporary hair loss um and that it does grow back so um if anyone else has noticed that you started losing a lot more hair since having covid um try not to worry i know it is a, a worrying thing when you're losing more hair and i was just panicking about it um which obviously can make it worse um but yeah it, i found that it's quite temporary my mum started losing more hair and hers is was temporary as well um even my partner paul um he got covid at the same time as me i think we caught it together in the same place actually um and he ended up losing uh a bit of hair as well like he was finding it was coming out in his hands and um you know he'd wake up and it'd be on his pillow and stuff but his seems to have gone back now to so we all seem to have had some sort of temporary hair loss since having covid but it has been temporary for all of us so yeah if anyone else is currently going through that then 
um you know I, I can only say from our experience that we've all found that it's temporary and that the hair does start to regrow back through um but yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys um but yeah uh, i hope everyone uh, stays safe and well and thank you very much if you've watched the video um and especially if you stayed watched until the end because i know it's, it's dragged on a bit um and yeah i'll hope to do another video for you guys soon take care bye